Podcasting from her kitchen table, it's Jacqueline Jay, here with another episode of Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles, where we focus on faith, family, fun, and finance for my fierce, fly, and fabulous sisters over 40. Come on in the kitchen. Coffee's brewing. Pull up a chair. And girl, let's talk. Now, here is your host for Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles, Jacqueline J. Hey, family, welcome back to the kitchen. This year, Many of us will not be spending time with our family and friends. There are two guests, however, who will be making their presence felt in many homes. These unwelcome guests, stress and depression. Now in years past, the holidays have been filled with cooking, shopping, baking, cleaning, and entertaining. Well, this year will look a lot different for a good many of us. If you're the type that enjoys the hustle and bustle of the season, this year may feel like a huge letdown. Add to that social distancing and not being able to be with people you love and maybe haven't seen in a while. And I don't know about you, but I am a big hugger. I love giving and receiving hugs. So I know this year for me will be somewhat of a challenge. So while I was thinking about that, I wanted to share with you, my sisters, three ways to hold that stress and depression at bay. And if these tips don't work for you and you find yourself in a serious funk, I recommend seeking professional assistance. First of all, acknowledge your feelings with the last year or so that I've had, trust and believe I take my time to cry and make no apologies for it whatsoever. Don't force yourself to be happy just because it's the holiday season and other people think you should be happy. Next, reach out. There are a number of ways to do this. While social media does have its place, I would suggest seeking out personal interaction and contact with community, religious, or other social events if you can find them, and staying safe, of course. Now, if you have a trusted family member or friend you know you can talk to, reach out to them. Give them a uh, text them, give them a call, or you can even video chat with them. You might also consider spending some time volunteering and being of service to others. If you're a baker, perhaps you could bake something and drop it off at a friend, relative, or neighbor's house. And last, but certainly not least, be realistic. Again, the holidays this year will probably look a whole lot different than they have in years past. As families change and grow, traditions and rituals change as well. Choose a few special ones that you'd like to hold on to and be open to creating new ones and finding new ways to celebrate. Before we go, I want to leave you with this inspiring poem. Twas less than three weeks before Christmas and all through the town People wore masks that covered their frown. The frown had begun way back in the spring when a global pandemic changed everything. They called it Corona, but unlike the beer, it didn't bring good times, it didn't bring cheer. Airplanes were grounded, travel was banned, borders were closed across air, sea, and land. As the world entered lockdown to flatten the curve, the economy halted and folks lost their nerve. From March to July, we rode the first wave. People stayed home. They tried to behave. When summer emerged, the lockdown was lifted, but away from caution, many folks drifted. 
Now it's December and cases are spiking. Wave two has arrived, much to our disliking. It's true that this year has had sadness aplenty. We'll never forget the year 2020. And just round the corner, the holiday season. But why be merry? Is there even one reason? To decorate the house and put up the tree. Who will see it? No one but me. But outside my window, the snow gently falls. And I think to myself, let's deck the halls. So I gather the ribbon, the garland and bows. As I play those old carols, my happiness grows. Christmas is not canceled and neither is hope. If we lean on each other, I know we can cope. Author Unknown. Merry Christmas to you and your family from here in the kitchen. Until next time, take care, stay safe, be well, be kind to each other, be kind to yourself, and be blessed. Bye now. This week's episode of Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles is brought to you by LSW Financial Services. Visit us for all your bookkeeping, tax strategy, and tax preparation needs. Today's tax tip, if you don't document your deductions regularly, you will probably forget about them. That's where we come in. We can help. Call or text us at 704-457-0261 or send us an email, taxes at lswfinancialservices.com.